hello welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to create slab beam and reinforcement and also how to create multiple floors for a reinforced a reinforced concrete building welcome to this presentation i'm your presenter maurice dimba and we'll go straight away from where we left where we created uh, this drawing or this model you're seeing on the screen at the moment now what you're going to create today is slab and uh, the concrete beams now we'll switch back to our isometric view by going to view then come to switch to 3d plane or 3d or plane now from here we have our columns at a height all the columns are at a height of three meters and we want to achieve this height we want to extend all these columns to this height 24 meters so we'll have several floors here one two three four five six seven we'll have seven floors so we'll have to populate a slab once we've created a slab we have to populate those sla uh, a slab to this height now to kick start on that we'll switch back to our isometric view right there here then we go straight to a plan view from here we'll go straight to uh, concrete on concrete uh, on concrete here we want to create a slab we we'll go straight to slab right there we we'll pick slab then we'll zoom closer for us to locate the accurate positions where we want to start creating uh, yeah, a polygon we want to create a slab using a polygon we'll start from that spot then go all the way to this end just zoom out just zoom out closely bring it somewhere here right there then zoom out just zoom out we have to cover all these four points I mean all the four corners of this building will snap right there then zoom out and in then we focus on this end want to locate or want to place that third corner right there then the final one is to close that polygon therefore we'll be, be creating or closing on our slab now we'll snap right there right click and interrupt and if you take a closer look you'll see that a slab has been created let's switch back to our isometric view you go to view then come to switch to 3d or plane this is our slab to check on the properties of the slab we just double click on the slab right there and you'll be able to see the thickness is 200 and you can change this to your preference the position it's flashing to the top of the beam cast unit we have nothing to do with that position behind though you can change this to to a particular position that suits your requirement let's just switch back to our behind right there and click modify then come to attributes on attributes but uh, tab this you can change the name you can name it to, you can give it a description of your preference but the default is a slab and uh, the thickness you can change that to 150 or to any thickness you prefer having done that or having made changes make sure you modify apply click modify and apply then accept from there we want to create i mean from there we want to uh, change or uh, i mean to, to extend the height all the heights of these of these columns now i'll come to navigate and rotate we want to change all these columns height to 24 meters high 
and we want to change them one go. So to do that, and we want to change them, and uh, the reinforcement will follow the height of the columns. Now, what we're going to do is just select everything here, and make sure you don't select the slab. Make sure you, you position your, your model in a position that you will not be able to select the slab while selecting the columns. So let me put it in this position like that. We'll put it in that position. I'll right click and uh, exit from that selection command. Now I'll select all these columns like that. Having selected that, I want to press control and double click on one column. I'll double click on one column like that. Once I've clicked on that, I've not actually clicked on the column. Uh, the clicking has detected the rebars. Now I'll come back again and double click on that. Still detecting on the rebars, which is all right. Double click ag again. Now what I'm, I'm going to do here, I'm going to straight to position here. On position, I want to change this to 24 meters. I just type here 24 meters, 24 meters, and uh, give it a click of modification. I'll click modify, then wait for the for the changes. Perfect. The the height has changed from three meters to 24 meters. I'll apply I'll apply this and accept. I'll zoom out and check that. I'll zoom out and check that. But there is one remaining which we have to change. Just double click on that. Then come to position here and change this to 24 meters. Just feed your measurement right there and click modify. Apply and accept. Just zoom out or click on, a, on an empty screen to deselect this column, like that. Then uh, I'll come to navigate or you can press Ctrl R and pick a rotation point and you'll be, you'll be able to rotate your model easily. I'll turn this like this. These are our columns running all the way from, from zero to 24 meters high. Right click and interrupt that. You can check the height from here. You can come to view and then pick the view there. You can see the columns are running full height to 24 meters high and they're being followed with the with the reinforcement, with the rebar reinforcement, um, uh, I mean rebar placement, I'll, I'll press Control 2 and you'll be able to see the rebars in the columns, taking full height of the columns. Has gone full height. Now we can go back where we were, press Control 4, then switch back to isometric view right there. Now from here we want to populate the slab and the beams. Now to do this we have to collect all our slabs and, and beams. And we want to populate this one go. Now I'll go here and pick our columns individually by help of control key on my on my on my keyboard I'll pick, I'll pick that beam I'll also pick this beam while pressing my control button I'll also pick that beam right here I'll press my control button and continue doing the same same thing I'll pick that come all the way here I want to pick all the beams prior to picking on the slab. I'll pick that beam. I'm taking step by step so that you understand whatever I'm doing here. Then I'll go 
ahead and pick this beam here. Just hold your cursor until you see the selection of that beam is appearing as color yellow. Then pick that. Then come all the way here. Hover your cursor on top of the beam you want to select. Like that. So the moment the selection becomes active, you click on it. Like that. Then come again and do the same thing here. I'll pick that. Come all the way and hover my cursor on top of the beam I want to select and, set and pick on it. Now I want to go that way and pick that beam. I want to pick this beam also, this one, and pr while pressing control, make sure you select the actual beam, beam you intend to populate alongside the slab. Now I'll pick on this again, I'll hover my cursor and pick on that, I, it, it hasn't picked, I'll hover my cursor again and pick on it. I'll come to that later on. I'll pick on that and go back and do the same thing. I'll pick on it. Let me finalize with this. Pick on that and pick on that. Let me select that then come all the way here and make sure I pick this one like that like that now the final one I want to pick on the slab just over your cursor on the slab and pick the slab once you've done that right click and come to special copy pick linear and we want to populate these along the z-axis. The z-axis here is 3 meters. Now we want to change this to 24 meters. We want to change this to 24 meters. And please take into account that 24 meters, 24 meters subtract 3 meters. That one will have 20, 21 meters. Now we'll go ahead and type 21 meters here. How many do we want? Not actually, we want three meters. Three meters right there. And we want seven of these. Seven, we want seven of this. Type seven there. Then go right ahead and click copy. Click copy. and wait for the result. There we are. We've copied the beams only let's come here and check that we'll come to navigate rotate this turn this round like that we've we've copied all the beams and one thing we need to do prior to populating the beams we want to place our ribas uh, slab ribas now we'll come to that then type riba then pick the slab riba here or if you're familiar with the numerical names of this macro you can just type 18, 18 and pick on that slab riba then come straight away and click on this on the slab having seen this communication communication from the from the program requesting you to pick on the object that you intend to place riba on ribas on i'll pick on the slab and wait for the response i'll right click and interrupt and zoom closer, you'll be able to see that mesh of
rebar placement on slab. Now if you turn this round like this, now we can go ahead and press control 2 so that we, we can be able we should be able to see the rebars on the on the slab. These are our rebars on the slab. And turn this round like this. You can go ahead and double click on the on the slab rebars. Then from here, from here, you can be able you, you should be able to change the sizes and the spacings of the rebars, top and bottom. This is simple as this. We just go back to bottom and change all all of this as per your requirement. And just go ahead and click apply. Apply. I mean modify, apply and accept. But for now I'll just use the default setting just to demonstrate to you how to apply slab rebars a sl uh, rebars on a slab and uh, populating the beams and slab to a full height of the reinforced concrete be on, on, a uh, on a reinforced concrete building now i'll go back to my previous presentation or my previous look of the slab now i want to populate this slab to full height of the building now i'll, I'll pick the slab then I'll go ahead and right click and come to special copy and pick linear. I'll go ahead and pick and, and click copy. And accept. Right click and accept or interrupt. To come out or to exit that copy command. Just zoom out. Just zoom out. Come to navigate right there. Want to rotate this. Pick that and turn this round. Perfect. Perfect. Now this is our model. Properly reinforced beams and the slabs. I, I can go ahead and press Ctrl 2 and we, we should be able to see all the rebars arrangement. Thanks for watching this video and uh, Let's meet on the next presentation. On the next presentation, we'll be discussing on how to place the staircase and wall placement. Thanks for watching this video. I'm my presenter, Morris Dimba. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. And also don't forget to pay a visit to silmax.com where you can get, you'll be able to get a lot of fundamental materials for engineering books and videos let's meet then bye bye